That was Rodney Walker streamlined and hitting the three and then the acrobatic, are you kidding me, one-handed shot and then after all that he plays a little defense too. Walker the steal and goes end to end for the jam and by the way in excess is a music reference from the 90s yeah. as well Craig and you know that very well and the Aggies win it by 14 after scoring the first 15 points of the game 28 for Rodney Walker Aggies play either UTEP or Montana in the second round Seton Hall and Canisius okay to brick the first one as long as you follow that's Michael Meeks inheriting the earth he had 26 then Craig Wise stripping Danny Hurley Kevin Thompson then on the break back to Wise and Golden Griffin surprisingly up early. Seton Hall, little comeback. Danny Hurley off the steal. You cannot catch him from behind. And then Hurley driving the lane, and he gets swatted by Wise. And yes, we have our NIT upset as Canisius down Seton Hall by 12. They hadn't won a game against a Big East opponent in 14. Kleinschmidt against the zone. And this is what we talked about. DePaul swings it. And then Kleinschmidt for three. Klang, just one of six for threes. Iowa takes advantage. Montier Glasper. Great pass, Kenyon Murray. Iowa up by as many as 21 in the first. The ball comes back, and they go to Kleinschmidt. <laughs> oh, Scrappy! Scores and he's fouled. The ball would go up two. Iowa takes control. Chris Kingsbury up to Jess Settles. Iowa up two. A minute. Jim Bartles ends it with one of his three three-pointers. Dr. Tom likes it. And this is Iowa's first appearance in the NIT. And talk about your balanced scoring. 12 for Murray. 18 for Sentinels. Tatters. Start of the game, delayed 15 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes after Mario McGriff shattered the backboard. Reggie Townsend led St. Joe's. Low block scores, two of his 19. The Hawks were led by Stephen Stewart. Rolls in the lane. He also had 19. And then more. Stewart. Cop in a race, an eight point deficit in the last five and a half minutes. The Eagles win in overtime. Cop and State will. Next play, the winner of Thursday's St. John's South Florida game, Cindy Goodman scored all 16 of his points in the second half for the oh, Texas Tech, baseball. Washington State hot tub me. Some youngsters get a little wet. Let's get to the basketball game. Isaac Fontaine down the middle. Cougars shot 69% from the field in the first half, but Texas Tech shot 61%. Jason Sasser to Darvin Ham. Washington State up seven, and then Lance Hughes trying to bring Tech back. Gets the roll. Three threes, they get within one, but too much Fontaine. And the foul. Cougars shoot 67% from the floor. They play the winner of Illinois State and Utah. Jopa, running on the home team. First half, Miami enjoys a 17-0 run. Constantine Popa converts. Canes up 13 at the half. Early second half, more Miami. Kevin Norris, Alex Frazier. Miami takes a 20-point lead. A 20-point bulge, but hold on, Penn State comes back. John Amici on Popa and the push. Three-point play. Penn State down five. And then Pete Lysicki nails the 17-footer. Penn State within three. It was close. Lysicki again. Going to change his pronunciation to Lysicki. That's the correct one. Penn State wins. Come back from a 20-point deficit in the second half. They'll play the winner of Thursday's Georgia-Nebraska game for Miami.